Hi y'all, I'm Emily Beth with My Scene TV here in Baton Rouge at the Varsity. I'm sitting with Kirk Joseph from Dirty Dozen. Hello Emily, how are you? I'm great, and you? I'm, I'm fine, I'm glad to be here in the, in the state capital of Louisiana performing tonight with the Rust Roots. I'm with the Dirty Dozen Brass Band, New Orleans. That's awesome. So, tell us what this instrument is that you're playing, how long have you been playing it, and how this, long? This instrument is called the sousaphone, which is related to, most people call it the tuba. Uh, which is usually used, the tuba is usually used for symphonic, for uh, acoustic buildings. All right, so tell me, uh, what, what style of music does Dirty Dozen play? Oh, there's all styles. We, we have no, no boundaries. No boundaries whatsoever. When we started back in the late 70s, that was just one of the things that made us the band that we are, that uh, revolutionized the brass band world uh, by doing things that wasn't the norm. You know, I mean, playing things like Birdland or bebop songs or maybe some Michael Jackson. And then we also have our original things that we do also. Hi, that's great. So um, tell me about when you played for the David Letterman show. I want to hear about oh, that. That was fun. It was great. It was, it was, uh, actually, it was, doing, um, it was doing the holiday season right before Christmas. Uh, this was back in the late 80s, early 90s. We was doing a show with, uh, you know, of course, Paul Schaefer. And David was also there himself. And it was fun. It was uh, it was interesting. It was, but actually, the first late night show we did was actually with uh, the Johnny Carson show, and we were hosted. We were brought on by Bill Cosby. Yeah, because we had met Bill Cosby in New York City at the Blue Note years before that, and he was filling in for Johnny Carson, and so he invited us on the show to expose uh, the rest of the country or whoever the late night listeners or lookers were to the brass band of the Dirty Dozen Brass Band. Tell me how you came upon your style because you just the hat is, is working for you as an individual. It's a New Orleans thing. You know, New Orleanians, Louisianans, we have our own style. You know how they say we talk different from the rest of the country? We dress different. That's just our, it's just our facade. You know, we have that, that's, that's that thing, you know. And I've been around the world several times and there's nothing like Louisiana, you know, especially nothing like New Orleans, really. I mean that sincerely. I love the rest of the world, don't get me wrong. There's great other places. But there's something in New Orleans that's very, definitely special. Uh, we're, very, we're definitely true to our heritage. And uh, we do things from the past and just keep it going into the future. So. Well, I really enjoy talking to you, Kirk well, Joseph. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you too, Emily. And he is the founder of... Uh, one, one, of the, one of the founding members. One of the founding members of Dirty, Dirty Dozen. Dozen Brass Band. This guy is awesome, talking to him. He's a great uh, guy. You're awesome, sweetie. You're beautiful, <laughs> too. I heard you're a singer. I sure am. I'm going to have to catch you sometime. Are you going to catch our show tonight for the rest of the I will be here tonight to hear you all. Okay, for Absolutely. those who's looking and not here tonight, we catch you next time. All right? All right, I'm Emily Beth here at the Varsity in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and this is My Scene TV. Y'all come listen to the Dirty Dozen now. The rest of the Check us out.